hello everyone today i am going to make a design and i am going to share the complete process like i was getting some request to how to make a design and how to do some research so for this design i was thinking to make a hiking design so i first of all i do a google search like best hiking quotes so you will find there thousands of images just pick the one you like like i am using this one the best view comes after the hardest climb so for this one here i am going to use this man image image here i have share with you guys how to make this kind of vectors from images or you can just search like hiking man png and you will find a thousands of images like this you can simply use them because we are not going to use it as it is we are going to make it we are going to modify and make it a part of our design so and there is thousands of them like this so there will be no copyright okay so first of all for designing process we need to the a good design is that what can express a message very clearly so the message is the best view comes after the hardest climb so i need to make a design that is this man or any man i will use is climbing somewhere like this is a mountain he is sitting he is standing so and he is looking at somewhere else the outside of that he is enjoying the view so that is the main point here so and for this kind of designs we can simply make the vintage kind of designs i have shown you in many 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 of my videos so that is what i am going to do here but first of all i need to make it like he is standing on the top position or something so i am going to use my pen tool here just to create a area like this i am just representing this is a mountain here and he is standing like this like you can see this is i need to make it look real so he is standing on this kind of area that is a mountain and he is enjoying the outer view this side so this is the main point of my this design and now for this one here i need to make them a group so that i don't lose their position i am just uniting them so it becomes a single shape now now the rest idea how to how to, how it will come in your mind that what kind of designs you are going to be actually that depends on the message you are going to deliver here so the main point is here the hardest climb this is the main point of my text here because he is already enjoying the best view so i am going to make this hardest climb text to in my focus so for that this kind of designs i am going to use this vintage kind of look here like this one if we just create some shapes like this and then we can simply add some vintage looking colors or you can search google like a vintage colors you will find the thousands of reference images what is the vintage kind of color or you can use any color you would just feel right that is totally up to you so once my color panel is here you will find this one by window and then color theme if you are using a latest version or a cc version and if you are using cs version you have to download some color palettes from google that will help you guys or you can simply pick some colors from these images but i am not going to do that for now i am going to use some vintage looking colors like this kind of colors maybe so i need a lighter yellow for this area just like this then maybe some green kind of colors then some also some darker colors because this area i am going to represent it as the like this is the sky part and this is the ground part the sun is setting so it's the red of that sun okay so once my color selection is done here i am going to put him just like this but i want 
okay that means i need to paste in front so i need to keep this image as it is but i need to place my text so for that i need to place my plus some like this area i cannot keep them like this so i'm going to use a ellipse here just to make a rough circle around my image if i select everything here okay first of all i need to make a group so that i don't lose these colors positions they are now grouped i'm selecting everything here now if i centerize them like this this is not centering but we can easily fix that because i need him to standing on a center position because he is looking this kind of this side i made like a slope he is riding upward but this here is the hard end because that is not this is the top point of my image here so for this one here i am going to make it a little bigger just like this so that i can get some space in my design so i am selecting my this ellipse here because i will need that in future so i am making a copy of that control c now if i select this two this ellipse and this color group then choose my pathfinder tool here and then crop if i click crop it will crop those areas inside the, that ellipse and as i said i will need that ellipse so i am going to paste the, that in front control f now as you can see my ellipse is back and i am going to make it a little bigger okay this little is steps will make it easier for me to make the design now i'm selecting this to cut paste in back because i want him to stand on top of my image so if i select these two group here this color group and my image group here i can easily use my shape builder tool to erase the unnecessary parts like this part i don't want then this one also or maybe these two because i want him to stand on a like this is the end of my mountain here so something like that now my design is almost ready but as you can see this is not looking like a very good kind of mountain shapes here but we can simply fix that but i am going to place my text first for this one okay so the best view comes after okay this is going to be the first part of my design i am going to write down that here as you can see this is the first part of my text i can simply use a font here like a bold kind of font but not too much curvy type because this is a muscular design going to be this is a design going to be for males so i'm i need this text to place in this ellipse here so i'm making a cut here now if i select my type on path tool this is all the same old thing i have shown this in my many videos before but still i am making this again because those time there was not there was no voice in my videos so i'll get a lots of comments like people are not understanding what i am doing here okay guys so this is now the first part of my design and as i said that i want to make it this hardest climb world i want to make it the focus point of my text here so i'm going to place that i'm going to place this hardest text here like this in a bigger size because that is going to be the focus point of my design and then this climb text now as this one this one and this font is already some bolder looking so i want to make this one a little curvy because that will make, that will bring a variation in my design so i am going to maybe maybe this milky brush i like this font but they are all in capital letters so i am going to just i am just making them small letters now here i want to fix something that this c is a little down like the than the other parts of the text here so i'm going to bring that a bit up because that will make it look good okay so this is going to be the okay guys as you can see this is now looking better than that 
part but i want to i don't want to just keep it like this i want to add some extra areas here like this kind of source areas you have seen in my in many different designs so that is what i am going to do here but i don't need that to select it a little bit smaller in size so once i am once i am ready that my design i will not need any changes or my text is looking good everything font is looking good then i can simply break my fonts because i don't need to make any changes on them this part i am going to make a little overlapping my hardest text because that will give it a more kind of professional look so like this 10 point is a bit low okay 20 point is a bit higher so 15 point for my this okay this point depends on how much or uh, what is the size of the artboard you are working so for, for me it is good so i'm making a cut here now that is in my clipboard i am selecting this hardest text here opening transparency so what is transparency this is still not clear i am double clicking here this panel is opening if i click here it will make a box here i can paste anything inside this so i am going to paste in front because that will paste it in the exact same place so control f as you can see this is placed in the exact same place where i took them from so this is looking good for this cutout effect now i am going to click this on this box i will come back from that transparency here so this is the main design of mine for this one but as you can see this is a round area here this is a hard cut here so for this one i am just going to add a just a little variation for this one here just like this making that a stroke mode here okay not like that i need to make it something like this that will work for me now once it is in a stroke mode as you can see this is now a stroke not in fill mode i am going to select this white tool here or you can press shift w and by this one we can simply make this stroke smaller and bigger so this is the easiest way, way of making that kind of source so once i am happy with my position here i am going to press a that will bring my direct selection tool here because i want to make a little changes here i don't want them to overlapping my text here so as you can see this is now looking good so i am selecting this one here this stroke here i am expanding that it is taking my eraser tool because i don't want it to be a direct cut here so i am erasing this for to make it make it look like a carving cut here carve cut here so that is the final design for me here so i am going to select these two text here and making them unite that will make this part also a part of this climb text so guys this is a very easy and simple design I'm, i made here because i don't want it to make it too complex because there is lots of there is a lots of designs like this on my in my channel you can see just those were on the different time so as you can see this is looking i think good but this area is looking just a, just like some empty space so we can simply make something for this area so maybe just rope is a good element for hiking hiking because you will need ropes when you are hiking so i'm going to make a make some ropes here so for this one here i'm going to use my direct selection tool if i click or select this area here i can simply bring that down like this but if you are using a cs version then you will not get these options you you should have use a cc version so i am making a copy then if i press ctrl d it will continue making some copies for me now as you can see this area is not very big area so i don't i will not need a lots of them just a, in a small size like this because that is that will give me a look of like it's a rope rope pattern so once my 
pattern is ready i am happy with this i am just going to make a custom brush here now for this time i am not going to make a art brush i am going to make a pattern brush here because pattern brush will look good for this kind of effects so i am pressing ok now just again ok you can see this is the last one is the pattern for my this version so for that area for covering that area i need to make another elli ellipse here just in the center point of this ellipse okay i need to fix the position here just a little bit or this this depends on you how much perfect you want to make it okay this is looking perfect for me now i am selecting this ellipse here and then making it pressing ctrl and alt shift and alt together just to place them in the kind of center point of my this text this upper text so they are not in exactly center i can maybe make a bit make this a bit bigger in this area and this one also so once my design is once my ellipse is placed or i think it is good for me then i am going to make my use my add anchor point tool here okay there is already anchor point so i don't need to make another i just need to make one point here and then another point in this same position here so i am going to now use my direct selection tool and if i erase this part this will erase the area from area that is that i made just now so this is looking good for me i am selecting this one this one also now i am going to apply this new pattern brush for them now as you can see this is looking a bit bigger for my size here so just a bit just a bit smaller like this and this is looking like a rope i think i don't know is this really looking like a rope or not but that is the point i was trying to make it look like a rope so now i am expanding it because they are in a stroke mode once they are expanded i can simply pick a color from here just to make it look good with my the other elements of my design so for this one here this image here i don't want it to be here because that is the only black of my design so i'm cutting that now i'm selecting this group here again opening the transparency pasting front so once it is pasted in front you can see this is making the exact same effect and if we just put a background for our design here a black cut paste in back it is looking the exact same of this position but when i will save this as a png image it will be a complete transparent png with no black inside my design as you can see this is the main design here this is how it is looking on black so guys this is a old style design i hope this one will make you clear that how to make this kind of vintage looking designs if you like this one do subscribe my channel and comment about whatever design you want to learn or whatever things you want to learn i will try to help you guys i am recording with another software today i don't know how my audio is but i hope it works thank you everyone have a great time see you in the next video thank you